Right, we're back, aren't we? And we did not find Tazok in either Larswood or Peldvale, despite the note to the wizard Transig suggesting that they might launch a raid there uh, in the coming days. He was nowhere to be found, so it looks like the only option, if we want to track this guy down, is to actually go to the bandit camp direct, which frankly seems rather dangerous. The sort of dangerous like when your foster father invites you out for a brisk ramble in the forest in the dead of night. Yeah, a bit of an in-joke there for uh, Baldur's Gate fans. Maybe I should come up with a few more Baldur's Gate gags. How about finishing the series first? Yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right. We'll, you know, we'll... Maybe later then, but, um... Anyway, we are... We're here, aren't we? And... Oh, the old frames are a bit laggy, aren't they? There we go. Right, Zar... Something troubling you? I think we'll just probably grab a little bit of this stuff, actually. Oh, okay. Uh... Oh, we have grabbed quite a bit of stuff. Do we grab any more Edwin? Maybe you could grab a couple of bows or something. My actions are yours. I will not stand by while this party descends into depravity. No surprise that Agentis has to have the first say of the episode, is it really? Uh Right, so what we're going to do is not go direct to the bandit camp. We've got a bit of stuff to sell. Uh, I feel like we probably have earned a decent rest in a decent uh, in a decent inn. So, and I think Alwyn probably just wants a little bit of time to uh, to kind of get his get his act together, really, and. Um, there was a sort of time pressure, I feel, to, to get to this place, just in case Tazok, you know, moved off. But, um... As you will. You know, we, we sort of felt like we were going to try and intercept him in a way, but, you know, that hasn't worked out, so... I think we'll go to Beragost. I might just keep you around for this, because it... The, the journey to Beragost is... What does it say? 32 hours. Which is, uh more than enough time to be waylaid by enemies. Now, I'm not sure how this works, but it's um there yeah, there you go, we can go straight to the bandit camp now. Because I've walked off north in the map. Um Well let's just see how this goes. Okay, fine. What we're going to do is sell some stuff at the smithy. We're going to speak with Officer Vi because she buys bandit scalps. And then we're going to rest, probably at Felderpost's Inn, um, just because he's got some stuff on him. Basically, we want to see if we can buy anything with the money that we've got. And I'll bring you back in if there's any, any interesting happenings uh, as a result of that. Alright, we're outside the Jovial Juggler. I've realised that it's now uh, 5 in the morning, which I th think is probably a bit of an early start for poor yes, old uh, Tayrom in the smithy. So, uh, But Officer Vi is uh, clearly awake at all hours. So, so yeah, 50 gold pieces for a bandit scalp. That's uh, rather good. So we've got. Okay, yeah, we've got. What is it? Thirty here. Oh no, twenty-one. There you go. A thousand and fifty gold. Oh. Oh no, we did have fifteen. That's uh, that's pretty good. Imwin's got six on her there, that's 300 gold. Uh, anything else? Oh! Edwin's got five. Zar? No. 
Okay. So the gold situation now is 4,295. You know, that might be enough to get us something. Um, so, yeah, we might... We might rest in here. With Helm's blessing. Uh, I also realised I, I took off um, the Buckley's buckler from uh, Alwyn, so I popped that back on. It's easy just to forget that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, go into battle kind of undercooked. So uh, so we've got that back on. I'm not really sure what to expect from the bandit camp. Um, Oh, look, for some reason it's 20... Rest. Yeah, that's why we're going in the inn. Who was that? Oh, poor old Vaconi has been the first to... Uh... No. I'll be much more agreeable yeah. with rest. Oh. Okay. Very laggy today for some reason. Don't know what's going on exactly. Feels like, like the virus scanner is uh, going or something like that. Um... Right. Oh, we can sell plenty of stuff to this guy. Let's do that. I don't normally keep you around for selling, do I? But, um... Yeah. Actually, I've got an idea. I've had an idea, rather, and I'll, I'll bring you back in when I... when I'm in the place uh, that I want to go. Uh, okay, we can't really... For some reason he buys armour, but nothing else. Uh, anyway. Plus two arrows, we could buy some of those. Composite longbow plus one would be nice, but requires 18 strength, so that's not really used to any of our characters. Chainmail plus one. Yeah. A few spells there. Glitter dust. Oh, that's quite good. I might actually buy that spell. Get it in Edwin's. You can have the glitter dust. That'd be good. Um, yeah, it just uh, blinds enemies in an area, so that would be quite good. Right. Anyway, let's have a let's have a little drink, shall we? Uh, oh yeah, this place only sells wine, doesn't it? Well, Agentus, have a couple of winter wines. Still rumours about iron shortages, even though we uh, tackled the mines, but maybe the fact that the bandits are still raiding means that it's still an issue. Yeah, here we go. With all the raiders making the road so dangerous, no one's willing to travel anymore. I wish the Flaming Fist would do something about those bandits. Well, let me tell you, they're paying us 50 gold pieces every time we... Present a scalp to them. I'm not sure who in the party will be doing the scalping, to be honest. I've got a feeling it'd either be Vaconia or uh, Zar. Possibly a Jantus, as he's on a bit of a mission to uh, kill bandits. Right, um, we need to rest, so... I think a noble would be quite good. Five gold. Amazing value, isn't it? A room in uh, Baldur's Gate compared to the size, compared to like the uh, cost of uh, a beer or something. Uh, anyway, oh, has that not? That hasn't actually recovered Agantis many hit points at all. I'm sure he was on something like 29, and now he's on 32. Rubbish. A stench of evil clings to you in the most vile. Oh, don't. He looks like he's talking to Mr. Felderpost there. Maybe he is. Who is he talking to? Oh, he's talking to Alwyn, isn't he? Or is he talking to Viconia? He's turned to face Viconia, but he could be turning to face Alwyn. I do not know.
I bet the bartender was uh, a bit worried there because we've got previous in this as place. Yeah. As uh, Agenta starts to get aggressive with uh, with his own party. Uh, anyway, I'll bring you back in. I'll do some Thunderhammer stuff and then I'll bring you back in at the place. Okay? The place, yeah. Well, you'll just have to uh, you'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, I mean, I did build this uh, way too, build this up way too much. Um, you can probably hear the little crackle of a fire though, and um, yeah, you can open your eyes now because we are in a house. We're in not Alwyn's house, but um, we're in Landrin's house. The <clears throat> I think it was a gnome or a dwarf who asked us to clear the spiders out uh, of his house, and that nearly did for this <laughs> this party. To be honest, it was a much Harder battle than uh, than uh, I was expecting, uh, but we did uh, we came through it. Um, anyway, what I've done is just turfed out some stuff to it in into this chest. Could we cease the incessant noise to such a pain behind the eyes? Oh, sorry, Zard, do you not like the crackling of the fire? Uh, anyway, letters, uh, some. <clears throat> some curious items, I suppose, and I just feel that Alwyn actually would be very intrigued by these uh, by these curiosities that he's picked up on the way. These items of interest, these uh, these strange artifacts, and actually, I think he would collect them. He wouldn't just sell them off. I think you know things like a girdle which changes your gender would be very uh, very interesting to Alwyn. And um, while well, he's not really Quite in the in the mind of the mind to uh, you know really kind of collate and document these things. He certainly knows that maybe one day he would be and um, uh, doesn't want to part with them. So that's uh, that's behind that decision. And also it just yeah it, it just gets the crap out of your inventory basically and uh, means you can kind of adventure with a slightly clearer um, oh, the harrower. I didn't actually sell that. Mm, could have done. Anyway, I'll just identify this spear as well, which is a uh, spear we, we, that came from the druid in Larswood. Can't remember his name already. No, forgotten it. Uh, got a feeling it began with a C or an O. Anyway, never mind. Let's let's have a look at what it is. What, a plus three spear? No, this cursed weapon will appear as a magical spear. However, when a combat situation arises, the wielder will attack an, an enemy and backbiter will attack the wielder. For every attack made, backbiter will attack the foe and also the wielder. Yes, yes, I think as you previously stated. This is a powerful spear, but one must ask if it is worth it in the end. The only way that backbiter can be removed is by a remove curse spell. Actually, that might be an item straight for the little box of curiosities. I think it might be. Backbiter plus three. Huh. Yeah, strange. Um, do I sell the sword now? I'm not sure. I think probably not. I think we'll just get going to the bandit camp. As you will. Um, in the smithy, I sold some stuff, but as you can see, I'm down at 2,600 gold. What did I buy? Uh, good question. I did buy something. Yes. I got some bolts for Imowen, which I'm just moving across to her. I got some more. I got some plus two arrows, which are frightfully expensive. Some bolts plus one for Imowen. And that's probably about it, actually. Um, can you identify this warhammer? I can't remember. No. Um, yeah, and and uh, you know, it's they are just horrendously expensive um, ammunition, magical ammunition. So um, yeah, that's uh, that's probably why the old uh, coffers have gone down a fair bit. Um, I'm just rearming here. 
Now, we didn't get white aid on the way back from the uh, bandit camp, but um, so where are we? Two o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, how's your luck on the way back? It's strange, isn't it? Peldvale is 28 hours away. The bandit camp looks beyond it, and yet it's 24 hours away. Maybe Peldvale's a bit more inaccessible or something, but anyway. Okay, let's see if we can get there unmolested. The journal's about to kick in. That did make me jump slightly then. Um, don't know why. I think I'm feeling uh, Alwyn's uh, trepidation at this. Anyway, that's, what's the journal going to tell us? I should travel to Larswood or Pell Vale next. It appears that the bandit attacks come from there and are related to the iron shortage. There should be a base hidden away somewhere in the forests. Mm, I think that journal update's a bit crummy. We've done the Larswood and Pelvale thing, and now we are at the base. Okay, so what do we got? A road, trees, so we're still in the wood of sharp teeth here, I imagine. Sorry about the lag on the old uh, uh, map screen. Um, okay. Alright. There's really only one thing for it. What time of day is it? Two o'clock. Okay. Alwyn, get yourself armoured up. <laughs> You're Alwyn, a queer fellow. I don't know what this does, but cast it anyway. Oh. Dexterity increase. Yeah, there you go. I thought that did some weird polymorph thing last time. Anyway, let's not, uh, let's not question it, shall we? And, I've done uh, had enough right, of this. Hang on, we've just got to be a bit careful here. Okay. Right, let's uh, let's have a little look around, shall we? We'll just follow this road. We'll go up the western side of this map. Okay. Okay. So it's quite a big map, isn't it? I imagine this is all stuff to explore, I imagine, so. Is this No, it's not impenetrable. Or is it? Oh yeah, you can get through. Right, here we go. So there's a tent here. Okay, so this is clearly the camp. Uh, yeah, keep AI. Oh, oh, chill, hobgoblin. <laughs> He's just chill. Yeah. Okay. Right. So a campfire. Another. Ooh, there's a like a sort of crucified. Victim of some sort. All oh, right, okay. Chill, hobgoblin. Oh, chill, hobgoblin. Oh God, look, it's a cart full of rotting. Oh, these are. Oh. How can you be around all that? It must stink. Who's that? Chill Hobgoblin. Oh! Bandit. Okay. So the thing is, if anyone can get one of these isolated, we can uh, do the old backstab. But they're just within each other's line of sight. Right, I think we need to. Uh, right, where's the crew? Okay, so they're they're back this way. So let's let's work our way around. Oh, 
Okay, quick, everyone, quick, 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 quick. Oh, tell you what's worrying there. The speed with which she uh, left shadows. <clears throat> that is not good. Um, right. Viconia just heals a gentis. What you want? This way. I haven't worked out quite what to do yet. Other than just explore, really. Right. Okay. So it looks like a small pond or something here. Go, 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 everyone. Yeah, look how quickly she comes. Normally, when you come out of hide in shadows, you normally get a little grace period of, you know, five seconds or so, but it's just instantly coming out, which is... I don't know if that's because it's the daytime and whether, you know, you lose that um, cover very quickly when you leave shadows, but... Uh... This forest has a sense of evil about it. The forest does a chance. What about the blooming bandit camp? Oh, right. What have we got here? Chill hobgoblin. Okay, well, we're in. I don't know how much we can risk. It would be better if it was night time. It really would. Oh, what's this? Oh, okay, let's not find out just yet. Ooh, it just comes straight back out of shadows. Okay, looks like some ruins here. Yeah. Oh. Ruins with a hobgoblin. Oh, ruins with hobgoblins. I don't know if they're affiliated with the bandits. One would assume so. Okay, where's my crew? Right. Just move these down the road a bit. Immerwent. I've done had enough of this. I think what we'll do as our first little foray is uh, take out these hobgoblins. As you will. Now I'm not sure what the deal with them is, but I think certainly the tactic we've got to employ is to kind of clear out areas and um, give ourselves an escape route at all times. You don't want to be running away from an enemy if it's sort of overwhelming you and then run into more enemies. So if we uh, take these guys on, we should be... Should be all right. Forward, march. Okay. Okay, we haven't got the AI on. Come on, people. Let's give them a right the glory of helm! <laughs> I have become death. Destroyer of worlds! Okay. Oh, that's interesting. These hobgoblins have got studded leather armour, which is slightly better than what yeah. they normally have. Okay. Uh, oh, 57 gold as well. These are not poor hobgoblins, are they? Right, Agentis, straight in. It feels like ages since we took on a regular hobgoblin. I feel a bit nostalgic, really. Right, that's a start. 
Yep. Doesn't seem to have alerted the rest of the bandit camp, which is uh, reassuring. Okay. This way. That's <clears throat> what we wanted, really. A nice. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Nice easy start to work our way in. Oh, what have you found, Nimowin? What have you found? Hobgoblin Elite. Now they're slightly more. Okay, two Hobgoblin Elites. They're less of a joke, aren't they? Right. Let's uh As you will. Let's bring the crew up. I'm gone. Yeah! I will not stand by while this party descends. Seriously, Agentis. We're looking to dismantle the entire bandit camp. How's that, mate? With Helm's blessing. Well, we need to go quickly now, people. Yeah. Go. Go. Imwen, I would love you to take this guy out in one foul plunge of your. Short sword. Oh yes, there we go. <laughs> it's just the 27 damage. Ah, right. There we go. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, what have we got? Oh, we've got a Grease spell. Okay. As you will. All right, let's drop a quick save there. Um, I'm just going to take you away a minute. I just want to make sure that uh, there's nothing going on in the background of this machine which is just causing a little bit of a, a delay. Um, I, I think it's all fine, but w what we've got is a situation where uh, Imowen's discovered everything in the southern portion of the map. Really nothing there whatsoever. Just uh, add crops of trees, uh, one bear roaming around, but um, yeah, so we're... Obviously, everything is in, going to be in this bit here. Um, so, I can just see a little fire burning around there. I didn't actually see that down it. Let's have a look at that. Okay, yeah, more more kind of... Uh, we can actually go in there, look. Uh, more tents and things. So, we just need to work out how we're going to do this. And I guess we'll probably start here. Um, just because it's uh, it's close to where we can run or run away if we need to, um, so I think we'll work our way in there, take out those chill hobgoblins, um, and uh, I'm just worried about sending Imowen right in in case she comes out of shadows and then you know she just gets mullered by some horrendous bandit people. So I think that's probably going to be what we have to do. Right, so we're ready to mount the assault on the bandit camp. Now, I'm not too worried about this in terms of just being able to stay in formation and, you know, we can 
always run off the map if we need to. Got a few tricks up our sleeve, obviously. So Agantis has got the Arrow of Ice going on, which is double damage. Uh, Viconia's got some plus one bullets, and I've got Immelwyn with some uh, plus one bolts in her quiver. We do have the wand of monster summoning, which 12 HD of monsters, that's uh, that's pretty good. Uh, that's going to, you know, that, that should, you know, deliver quite a few hit points of monsters there. Um, and we do have the Potion of Frost Giant Strength, which I am quite prepared to use um, if Agantis gets in some hand-to-hand -hand with some tough enemies. So, we're at full health. What I will do is, I think, yeah, Alwyn's already armoured up, but I'm going to just give Agantis a bit of protection from evil. That'll just give him a little boost. And I'm going to move him just yeah. slightly ahead of the other party members. Actually, have we got the formation? Yeah. Hmm. No, that's not very good. Because the leader's not in the right place. Ah, that's the one. There we go. So if we... With Helm's blessing. Yeah, so if we go forward, Jantis, we just want him at the peak of the group, just because he's got this extra armour class against missile weapons, and these bandit characters seem to be largely equipped with bows, so we'll just edge in here, and hopefully if we can stay in formation, we can... Take him out. Right, we'll get Helm. Give me strength. We'll just get Viconia and Agantis on this one. This is a chill hobgoblin which we've never taken on before, but we'll give it a, a little volley to start. So 12 damage from the off. Okay, right. What you want? Don't crash. No, yeah, sorry. Getting a real frame drop out there, but there we go. Um, let's. Uh, you four on that one. This one's near death anyway. Okay. Okay, they're all coming. May darkness prevent. Is just edge forward. These two are uninjured. Jean-Colas? Oh, right, now they're all coming. Okay. Now, let me just see... That lasts two hours, so that's going to be... Am I going to drop the potion now? Edwin, you try and take him with a... 
get a chromatic orb on him, Edwin. A Jantus, drop the potion. Right, so a Jantus' strength is now 21. And that means with this, he's got a Thacko of 11, which is very good. Right. I'm just worried that there's going to be... I'm not sure quite how the AI works, whether there's going to be lots of people piling in now. Or whether we can uh, hold them off. We've got Jantus then. Right. You are so irritated. You take this one. Oh, okay. So these bandits were a lot tougher than the other ones, aren't they? Okay. I'm gonna get. Shall I get the wand going now? Uh, what is it now? Right, Edwin. Take him. Okay, he's now badly injured. Focus on him. My will cut you down sure. the side. Okay, good. Right, everyone. On these. I'm hoping, Ajantis, you're going to start hitting now. <laughs> yeah, 19 damage. Just need it a bit more consistent, Ajantis. Oh, go again. Oh, deadly. Right, heal yourself. Okay. Okay, I'll just quick save. Just excuse me for a moment because I just want to just check there's not an issue going on in the background with this computer. Okay, right. Nice. Very nice. We're, um... We're the other side of that battle. So that's a good start. A water star gem, no less. Scouts. A spell, chill touch. Okay. Right. So. I'd quite like to maximise Ajantus' time with this uh, strength boost. So, we're just going to press on, I think. With Helm's blessing. And hopefully... Okay, can we go in this... I'm not sure I want to go in tents just yet, but... Right, let's just... I'm kind of aware that it would be nice to get Imowen, uh me something to eat. Not now, Viconia. Okay. Right, we've got Imowen in shadows. We can just take the AI off for a minute. Bring the crew up. With Helm's blessing. Just going to tr try and work quickly here. Okay, right, up here we've got company. Chill Hobgoblin. Oh, and a named enemy. Ardenor Crush. Okay. This way. Anyone else around our den or crush? Because I've got an idea. Um, As you will. Get those down there. This way. No, no one else. Right. 
and we went stab him in the back, and then we're gonna she's gonna run back to our party. That's the plan. As you will. Right. Don't be blocked, don't be blocked. Oh, hang on. I'm moving the wrong person. Emma went. I've Run. done had enough of this. Okay, we're off. My honor is with Helms. Nice to get 21 damage in on that enemy straight away. Near death. This way. Okay, go in, go in, go in, go in. Can you just finish him? My blade will cut you down this side. Oh, nearly. Well done, Emily. My blade will cut you down this side. Okay, everyone. Attack. Um. Okay, hobgoblins are vulnerable to old person. I'm gone. Helm, give me strength. So that's what we're going to try. Everyone else. Um, Again, you disturb me. Magic missile, Edwin. With my time. I might wheel round uh, Zar for the um, flame thing, Agnazar Scorcher. Light, light, light. Yep, I'm gone. I care not. I'm gone. And uh, Zark and Flamin. Oh. Right, Jantus, run up to him and give him some hits. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. Everyone else, can we just take this one, please? This way. For the glory of Helm. My blade will cut. I've done had enough. Baconia. Go, go, go. This way. I shall attempt to return to the trust. I have Destroyer of worlds! Jantus, can we just take him out, please? I'm gone. Your worthless lives end here. Oh, thank goodness for that. Okay. And the Jantus just completely uh, smote Ardenor Crush. My honor is my life. Okay, so. I don't understand. Uh, okay, battle music. That'll do, won't it, eh? Thank you. I'm not quite sure why um, the hobgoblins are really tough, but still only worth 35 XP. Seems a bit like um, yeah. Seems a bit unfair, really. Um, right, where should we position ourselves here? Well, that worked rather well, didn't it, with the backstab with Imowen. Um So, oh, 104 gold. Bandit scalp. Okay. Right, so we can actually go up into that tent. So we'll just move up here now. So fortunately, we are able to sort of compartmentalise this uh, this camp. Um, 
I'm aware that there's chests and things, but maybe we'll have a look in there. Locked. Okay. Anyone? Win? This course we take is beyond all tenets of decency. I've done had enough. Can't do it. You might be able to force it, Agentis, with your you will. uber strength at the moment. Yes, get in there. 35 gold, very nice. Right. <laughs> okay, Zara's decided at this point to have a conversation with Viconia. Well, I suppose we aren't being attacked, so... Uh... Okay. Tell me, Dark Lady, how would a personage such as myself be regarded by your people? Very intrigued to see what a conversation between Zara and Viconia is like, I must say. The drow, indeed, have a special place for those who are as you. Really? What's it like? What's it called? The name translates poorly into your impoverished tongue. I believe you might term it the Loser's Cemetery. Ah, Viconia. What? Perhaps Cemetery of Wasted Lives is a more true version. In any case, the ignominious place to dispose of the remains of those whom the matron mothers have judged misfit. I misfit? What else am I to conclude? I find a person of your talent and predilection, yet whose mind has been broken by the irrationality of surface life, wandering without purpose upon dim and dusty byways, lacking honour or station. Goodness me, Viconia. Slightly judgmental. What may I judge if not misfit? Well, you don't understand Viconia, uh, Zar Viconia. He's a he's a travelling eccentric. Ah, I perceive that you do not consider that the outside of the world is so very much larger than its innards. Among us, excursions such as this, although they are certain to certain to annoy, are not to be despised ipso facto. Where else, for instance, might I have encountered an enchanted jewel such as yourself, Dark Lady? Well, Zah, that's, uh... Yeah, turning on the charm. Your flattery is inept, but your advice may be wise. I shall regard you, male. Ah, okay. Well, she started off being very judgmental, and then, uh... Yeah, she does listen, doesn't she, Viconia? She does consider... Give me strength. The other point of As view. There's more than you can say for uh, a Jantus, isn't it? Let's be honest. All right, let's uh, advance slowly. This way. Oof. I'd love you to be able to hide in shadows, and one I really would. One more go, and then we need to press on. Okay, what's actually happening here? Okay. Is there anyone in there? Ooh! Non-hostile enemies. A null and a flind. Okay. This way. I'm gone. Bye. Helm with Helm's blessing. I've done had right, move up. Of this. Whoa. Okay. A hobgoblin. Stop everyone. Stop, stop, stop. Right. Okay. I've done had enough of this. Yeah. I will not stand by while this party descends into depravity. Shut up and kill the hobgoblin. Go. For the glory of Helm. Okay. Now, Nartha. 
Maybe just a little protection from evil. As you will. Okay, bandit. <laughs> the rate of fire as well. Brilliant, Agentis. With Helm's blessing. Okay. Go again, good sir. Well, some bandits seem to have more hit points than others, but uh, as you will. Okay, another one. My honor is my life. Okay, there you go. Helm, give me strength. Yeah. Where, 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 where? Well, that is a cave, isn't it? Yeah, you can go in there. Okay, stop. Oh. oh. Baconian, what have you seen? Okay. Torgos Kosan. Okay. He looks rather meaty, doesn't he? I think we might be getting our wizards in here. I could do no other. Now, a whole person worked quite well on that hobgoblin, so I might try that again. But let's let him come on first. Give him a chromatic orb. Edwin. Give him a spook, Edwin. Alwyn. Hold him. Draconia. Could try and drop him. What you want? Imowen, fire. Okay, let's go. Oh, take that, mate. And he's panicked. Brilliant. Okay. Well, that didn't work. Try and take him out. Take him out. Okay, Tor Goz is badly injured. No, 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 Agentis. You stay right there. Do we have a healing spell, Alwyn? Yeah, okay, go. Right, sleep those. Right, we're in a good position now, guys. Destroyer of 
Try and chop him up, people. For the glory of hell. Oh no, he's back, he's back. Uh, right. You four, you three on them. Edwin. Alwyn... Yeah, keep going on those guys. And this one. Right, we are nearly there. Well, I don't know if we're nearly there, but... Whew, we've done this little bit. My god, that guy was 2000 XP. Helm, give me strength! Let's just look at his... Uh, As you will. Hardly worth my time. His belongings individually. Oh! He's got... St ah, what's that? Full plate armour. Magical shield. Potion of fortitude. Potion of fire breath. A magical war hammer. And 85 gold. What a... Oh. Oh. Full plate armour is the best armour a warrior can buy, both in appearance and protection. The perfectly fitted interlocking plates are specially angled to deflect arrows and blows. And the entire suit is carefully adorned with rich engraving and embossed detail. Requires 15 strength, armor class 1. Mi minus 3 vs slashing, minus 2 vs piercing, and missile. <gasps> A Jandis can wear it! See, this does nothing versus uh, missile. Oh, his armor class goes down to minus 4. Well, that's a nice boost, isn't it? What else did he have? Potion of Fire Breath. 6d10. <gasps> Possible 60 damage from this. Because I have... Haven't I still got... Yeah, I've still got this sort of grenade thing, which I might use. But that's 6d6. This one is 6d10. A medium shield, which is magical. And a me... Right, Alwyn, do you know what that is? No. How about the shield, Alwyn? No. Have you got a spell? No, we used it. Okay, anyway. Pause. Whoops. Bye, Eck. What is it? As directed for now. Bye, Eck. So I just want to make sure we're getting all this stuff as well. More gems, more scalps. I love strength potions. I, they're just absolutely lethal, aren't they? I mean, 21 strength. I don't know how much that would cost in a shop, a 21 strength potion, but it just... It just makes uh, a Jantis absolutely lethal. Right, let's just press on a little bit. With Helm's blessing. Because we are looking for Tazok. But so far, his lackeys have not been able to stand in the way of Alwyn. Nowhere near. A 2,000 XP enemy. That must be the hardest guy we've ever taken down. And the spook just did for him. A, a level 1 spell. They get a pretty mean save on that. It was about minus 4 or something. So that is a great spell, isn't it? Right, where are we? Okay, like, oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Bandit. Right, let's 
do some plus one arrowing. So it's weird, isn't it? Some of this guy's already take, taken 15 damage, and what's his health? Badly injured, so he's probably got about 20 health. Incredible. With Helm's blessing. I just feel really pleased for Alwyn. I can't believe his his little group is just we just marched right on in here and uh, you know just completely. Well, we haven't finished yet, but <gasps> Tazok's tent. Tazok's tent. Oh. Oh, whoa, 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 stop, stop. There's someone someone good up there. Fire arrows, quick, because they get a plus two Thacko. Okay, let's try and... do something. We've still got spells to play with. Um, good time dropping Vaconia. Actually, drop that one, Vaconia. Little bandit here. Well, oh, Credus is already badly injured. Oh, he's dead. Well, he wasn't very good, was he? 65 XP. Well, with Jantix, we don't need to use the old uh, fire arrows there. Another one of these Teflon bandits. Of course, with Jantix has got the extra armor class against missile now, with that um, with that armor. Alwyn has just levelled up. It's all happening, people. It is all happening. We're just taking out another one because Agantis has got. Remember, this his family shield has got an extra plus two versus missile attacks, plus the boots, plus the armor. Um. With Helm's blessing. Anyone else want to take us on? It's kind of how it feels at the moment, you know. I quite like this offset formation as well. It just means that, that you know the fire is immediately drawn towards our toughest party member. I don't want to get too brazen, but I do want to uh, you know clear as much out as I can before. Before Agantis' strength uh, buff runs out, really. Where are we going? Background, okay. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll have a little look about Credus' body. My actions are yours. Okay, and a composite longbow, which we will take, because that's worth quite a bit. With Helm's blessing. I'm kind of intrigued as to how much plunder there will be here, given that these guys have been raiding caravans. You'd think there'd be huge amounts of loot. But yeah, no, we have... We've, we've marched right on in here and... Um, and absolutely... opened a can on them, haven't we? Well, there you go. Now, this was all about finding Tazok. And about trying to... Uh, bring him to the negotiating table. With almost a kind of... It's a bit un like but with a sort of show of strength. With something just to make him sit up and listen. Something to... Uh, 
a bargaining chip, I suppose. And um, oh God, look at that! All these skeletons plastered to the outside of the tent. <sighs> Tazox tent. This is the chance. It's been plain sailing so far. But what's in there still troubles me a little. <laughs> 